We're going to have a look at how to work with the wall tool in ARCHICAD. In the wall tool, we've got three different basic types of settings. We've got the, the basic structure, the composite structure, and the complex profile structure. What is basic? It just means it's one consistent color or one consistent fill. Um, this is my list, which will be a little bit different to yours, but I'm choosing one here that's just solid fill. Now, the other things that we need to be thoughtful of is what's the height of the wall? You'll see that there's a grayed out number here. This is meaning that the height of the wall is based on our current story settings. So if we look over on the right hand side of the screen in our navigator, we see that that's based on the ground floor and its relationship to the first floor. So ground floor is our home story in this case, which is where we're drawing, and it will be going up to the first floor. So I could make it as tall as the story settings, meaning it's 3,300, or let's say I wanted to not have it going from floor to floor, but going from floor to underside of <laughs> ceiling, and let's say therefore I was allowing a 300 millimeter floor to ceiling, or ceiling to floor, um, I would then say minus 300, and we see that this will automatically change this down to 3,000 there. I could also say I don't want this to be linked, so I could say not linked, and then I could make this number whatever I choose. However, it's a little bit more thought, but worthwhile using the linked options because it means you can draw your entire project, and let's say it's a high-rise building, and then at any point you can change your story settings, and these wall heights will automatically update to your new settings. So this is foolproofing the project to a degree. All right, we don't need to worry about this. This is the same as this. What we're saying is we're at ground floor or at zero to our ground floor, we're going to talk later about our reference line and our setback of that line. In terms of our materials, I've clicked these overrides, which means even though it's called RMD Solid Fill, I'm saying I want to make this wall out of rammed earth. Um, I'm doing this deliberately at the moment, and then I'll explain how and why we change this later. And because I am calling it rammed earth, I've chosen to write the wall thickness here at 300 millimeters. If, for instance, I wanted to change that to a cavity brick, I could just change that number to 270. So the purpose of this video today is really to explain a lot of the theory behind the settings and options in here. Uh, there's other settings here that I'm not going to get to at the moment. And down the bottom we can see our layer setting. Now we can change any of the settings here after we draw it. Ideally, if we can get it done first, that's probably the best. So let's change it back to 300 for now and let's get started. When I draw in ARCHICAD, generally what we should be doing is, let's say using the outside face of the wall, drawing in a counterclockwise direction, anti-clockwise direction if you like. So I'm going to start drawing down. Now if I'm, draw if I'm choosing to draw from the outside, I need to be thoughtful about what's the dimension that I'm working with from the outside. Now at the moment I'm using rammed earth which doesn't really have a modular size. If I was working with brick, I'd want to adjust this to a module size. You've probably seen some of this in maybe some other videos that I've done. Um, and we'll have a look at how to do that again later. But for now, let's just start. And I'm doing something that I wouldn't normally do and drawing without uh, a sketch reference to work with. So we're sort of making it up as we go and then I'll make some adjustments later as, a ne as is necessary. So let's start. 12 meters. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. When we draw with a solid fill, we see that the wall is black. If I want to select that wall, we see that the outside line has a blue line. What does that mean? That's our reference side, which means when we connect this, I need to connect to that same point and this will make more sense later. Um, I might even do this wrong at some point just to show you what I mean and why this needs to be done correctly. Uh, I've got a little tree here and I'm, I'm just going to draw straight over this one at the moment. There's a lot of trees on this site so I'm not too worried about taking out this particular one. So I'm going to extend this across. I'm not quite sure how big this is going to be. I'm deliberately um, drawing in a way that means I'm going to change later. 40 meters. I'll extend this up so it's the same as the other one, 12 meters. So you see that I'm using reference points, trying to keep everything as straight as possible. 
move across in this direction. Let's call this one 5. Let's move down 6. Now I'm trying to draw this symmetrically, so I can keep drawing. I'm probably going to make a mistake if I do this though, so I'm going to stop for a second. Select these two walls, right click, move, mirror a copy, and using the outside line of this wall, I can mirror that across. Now just checking this, now due to that method, I haven't been consistently drawing in an anti-clockwise direction. But, most importantly, that reference line is still on the outside, and that's what we most need to ensure that we maintain. Clicking on that outside point as reference, continuing to draw in the same orientation, we can close that, we see that the distance is perfect, and the angle is perfect. When we're drawing ARCHICAD, we should always be perfect. We should be drawing to absolute millimetres and absolute degrees. Why? If we don't do it now, it's going to come back to bite us later, so we want to make sure that we do this well. I've deliberately been only drawing the outside walls. I haven't been drawing the internal walls and I'm going to do that next. And I'm going to show you how we might make those work together. Going back into our wall setting, let's now keep this as our solid fill, but I'll change this to 110. Now, why 110? There's different theories about this. Again, I'm, I'm sort of deliberately doing things a little bit wrong for some important reasons. I'm saying at the moment that this is my total wall thickness. So I'm assuming that this is a 90 mil timber frame wall with 10 mil plaster board on both sides. So 110 in total. Now, interestingly, that could also mean it's a single brick. I'm definitely not going to be using rammed earth for this, but it doesn't really matter what I show as the material. Just to be consistent for now, I might go in and change this to something white. I'm just going to use this one down here called whitewash. I'll keep these settings the same for now. Uh, we can change those later. And before I do anything, I'm just going to select these walls, holding shift in order to be able to click one at a time and keep them all. Edit, grouping, group. Back to my wall tool, make sure it hasn't changed settings, it's still the way I want it. Now if I wanted to draw an internal wall, where am I going to connect that to? I'm going to click here. When we click over the edge, we see that our cursor changes to an arrow. That's telling me I found an endpoint. Click. And when I draw, we see that the reference line in this case is on the, the top side, or let's say the outside. If I want this to be the inside, I could flick this around, and that would mean that it looks now like it's drawing the right way. Or if I really wanted this to be the outside face, and this is all just a matter of perspective, I could also use this op option here which flips the reference line. So either of those options will allow me to toggle the orientation of the wall. This one's less important because I'm only drawing one line. I'm not connecting them at the moment. And we see that while it's all black, they've all connected really nicely. There's, there's no problem with the way that these walls have connected. Later on, we're going to look to see how that would work when we start to use real construction materials, real representation. But while we're doing this just with... Um, Black lines is not an issue. So when I drew this wall, how did I draw this? I drew this from right to left. I was only drawing one line. Now let's see what happens if I try to use the same settings and draw it from left to right. We see that it's backwards again. So what do I need to do? I need to reflip this orientation. Again, it's maybe not the best way of working, but as long as we're being consistent, so again we see that the, in this case the bottom line is the reference line, bottom line is the reference line. It's going to work out well in the end as long as I'm thoughtful and consistent in which orientation I keep these lines. Now let's draw a few more, drawing up this space. Sometimes when I'm drawing, I don't really want the wall to be here, but that's the reference line I've got available. Let's say I want to make a hallway down this side. So I've drawn this in place and now I'm going to drag it across. I'll drag it across one meter. Now, I want there to be a wall here as well, but it was in the wrong place. So what I'm going to do now is mirror a copy, and I'm just going to mirror it right up against itself. Why? Just because it's going to be easier for me to move. And then I'm going to move that across, again, holding shift to make sure it's straight, but then lining it up with that corner. And I can see now that they're intersecting in the right way. 
it might not work out a little bit later once we change the materials, but for now that looks fine. Let's continue this. So what am I doing? I'm using walls now like construction lines. So if I was doing manual drafting, this would sort of be the way that I'm working. I'm drawing walls where I don't really want walls sometimes, but I'm getting them set up well. Move this down again a meter. And now that I've done that, I can start to cut out the bits that I don't want. So using my command or control key, I can turn my cursor into scissors and I can delete the bit of wall that I don't want. Now I just have to be careful that I don't end up leaving myself with little bits of walls due to the way that I've been drawing this. It's mostly working out well, so I don't have an issue in that case. Let's delete the extra bits that I don't want. Where do I want this wall to be? I actually want this wall to go the other way. So. Reference line on the outside, reference line on the outside. They're currently working well. Now if I want to have a reference line that's continued on that side, I'm going to mirror a copy or draw another line. In this case, I'm going to make sure that I'm doing it the right way around. So flip it again. Except I've sort of been accidental with how large I've made this wall. So when I click... I see that I'm sort of left with a strange number, 3480. I didn't mean to do that. Really what I want is for this to be about 1800. So I'm going to reduce that to 1800. And I've also not necessarily been thinking about the wall thickness as I'm going. So while I was representing this as a timber frame with maybe plaster on both sides, this is going to become a bathroom. And I probably need to be thinking about, well, what's the, the wall thickness of the bathroom? It's also very possible when we're in Archicad, particularly if we're trying to sort of do what I'm doing and designing as we go, that we're going to make mistakes. And we either have to be willing to make mistakes and then change them later, or put more time into the process first up to get the settings right. So I'm going to stop now. I've got a couple walls on the internal I've got a couple walls external. If I select these walls, we see that I didn't go to the effort of changing their settings first, which I should have done, but I can now select them, group them, go into the settings, and choose a different layer. So they're now called wall external, internal. These are called wall external. And if I re-enable um, my grouping, that we can see that we can click those with one selection. So we're off to a good start. We've got the start of our building. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to come back and show you a few more settings of how we can edit these to start to understand them a little bit more.